dead draw gaming. Like no one ever was. Yet on stream, mm -hmm. um, we saw Ross get bodied by frogs last we round. We did, yeah. Um, poor Ross, but you know, frogs be like that. It was a, it was a cool deck, but you know, frogs just kind of edges the, all those uh, spicy yeah, yeah. stuff out. You know, <laughs> it's what it's supposed to do. That's yeah. what he gets for not playing Giratina. That's what he gets for not playing. That's what we talk yeah. about these things. You play Gladion, no Giratina, Ross, questionable. Mm -hmm. All right, but mm -hmm. um, now we got a we got a cool round coming up. Oh yeah. All right. Um, we got Jay Young, straight out of St. Louis, mm -hmm. um, Yeti Gaming representative, um, and he's gonna be going against Ahmed Ali. Um, and Ahmed is going to be the one playing Buzz Rock, right? Uh, Ahmed yeah. is the one playing bu Buzz Rock, correct. Nice, nice. Um, and then uh, he's from Pull Play Games, mm -hmm. um, based out of Florida, but Ahmed himself is from Georgia, I believe. Yes, he is, um, correct. So yep. these are two players that are on the verge of hitting that top tier, but they just don't consistently perform. The, the, they're the guys top eight. you always see maybe the top 16, you know their maybe name, the top eight. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. they're always there, but they never, they've never quite broken through that. That wall, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, jump that barrier or anything like that to get to the next level. But starting out 2-0 is phenomenal oh, for yeah. them. Um, and, and they're going to be chilling. Um, I'm pretty sure they're, the headphones are already, so we can talk a little bit about their deck, right? Mm -hmm. um, so Jay Young is rocking this nice Zoro Rock counter energy deck. Mm -hmm. um, I believe some people have been talking about it amongst like uh, the top names. You know, you and I, yeah. like every circle is pretty much like integrated in somewhat way. They might keep a couple things close to themselves. Mm -hmm. um, but this one in particular is just a... A standard Zorok Lycan Rock deck. You got the Kakui, you got the multi switch, oh, yeah. um, you got the 3 2 Lycan Rock line, but it's playing the counter energy with a Shaman, mm -hmm. um, and Baby Me Too Evo, and then he plays the Sudowoodo um, Watch and Learn. Yes. So you can copy off any uh, any uh, madness of like turn one absorptions mm -hmm. or um, some like uh, yep. knuckle impacts. But, but being able to have that kind of just quick fighting response to maybe a Zorok that does something on turn one or two or turn two to take a knockout or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or you know a, a buzz wall that gets a quick absorption you can just respond to it without needing uh, you know anything too much you got a non ex that you can just kind of play a mallow trade once and you're good to go to, yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to get that response in there the, the shaman brings that grass weakness uh, to the deck and that's pretty next level for the, the lichen rocks that's, you know? that's, that's perfect because yeah. um, even when you have like lichen rock as like uh, swinging in this mm -hmm. matchup um, if you're able to force a turn where you're like, I'll take a knockout on your buzzwall, and then the following turn, if they go for like, they miss their beast ring, and yep. you're just like, I'm gonna pressure out the lichen rock, and mm -hmm. now my Zoroarks can out party. Exactly. Because uh, they have to hit max elixir and uh, start swinging. Right? Yep. Yep, exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the, the shaman just, you know, because the, the, the lichen rock is kind of that, that mid game option. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if, if the buzzwalls don't have a ton of energy, if they're playing Mew, Mewtwo, you know, the psychic attackers, that's why lichen rock's so good, is because of the different weakness. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're able to prey on that as well, then it's just like another layer of like what you can do to handle the matchup. For sure. Um, and we've also seen um, uh, early turn, like, attached to a, a rock rough. I mean, now that Rockruff is 70 HP, yep. you don't even get Lele, Goodswood, nope. DCE, KO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, they're just exactly. like, all right, um, now we got 70 HP, yep. and um, they can get a three energy lichen rock online by. What's it? Turn three, turn mm -hmm. two, turn three, yep. and then just take three to four prizes with it. Um, I personally feel like when Lycan Rock hits the board, it's taking three prizes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like like you're not you're not handling it. Um, this deck can though. That Shaman's gonna be a flippity mm -hmm. floppity flappity yep. and just uh, knocking some Lycan Rock around. Because otherwise, it's a, it's a very it's hard to kill. It has 200 HP. You know, it's it kind of does a lot of damage pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. got that ability. And 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 then the Bloodthirsty has to pluck out. Oh yeah. Like I want I want him. Yep. Like I need, I need to talk to that yep. Zorark. Yep yep. Me and, and him got beef. And, like, and <laughs> I know this is something you were talking about earlier. You know, the Zorak decks kind of, you know, Buzzwool is a fighting type. It does a lot of damage to them. But Absolutely. it's hard to kill. You know, they can only one shot you in, like, with the three energy attacks. Yeah. But now that Diancy Prism is out, that extra 20 gives them the ability. They have all their modifiers to one shot a Zorak with just jet punch. Yeah. But yeah. if Zorak is able to pluck that Diancy with the Bloodthirsty Eyes, yeah, using something else, yeah, 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 yeah. then it just lies it down. Yeah, I mean, minus 20, 40 for weakness every turn for the rest of the game. That adds up pretty, pretty fast. Okay. Um, but we will see here that uh, Ahmed is rocking the one Mew FCO, mm -hmm. which most players have dropped from their list, right? They have, yeah. Um, and, uh, and they've done it in response to um, the release of B-String, mm -hmm. so the release of Prism, and they're like, all right, we drop Reggie Rock, we throw him Prism. Easy peasy right there, right? Yep. Uh, but now, how do we fit in Beast Energy? Mm -hmm. How many strong is being a sacrifice, right? And how are we going to fit in the B-String? And so they're like, all right, um, I guess we're just going to go with uh, taking out Mew. Yeah. And Ahmed's like, nah, nah. And what he ended up doing, right, is uh, looking at the list here, that he only went down to a 2-1 Octillery, mm -hmm. which might show, like, the dividends later yeah. on yeah, in yeah, this exactly. game, right? Because um, if, if, if Jay...
he goes to make a move where he the one time he takes out the prison and then next turn he's like I'll go ahead and activate his beast stream. I'm just gonna take out his octillery right now yeah. off of an N and then uh, bloodthirsty eyes uh, yeah. we can we can see Ahmed just kind of like fall on it yep exactly and then th that, that's the danger of the one octillery you know Buzzwell doesn't usually play a 2-2 because they're trying to set up two they're playing a 2-2 two -two so they can make sure they yeah, get that yeah, one yeah. out. So, so it's, yeah. it's coming out no matter what. I can prize one and I yep, feel bad about it. Exactly, the exactly. Yeah. So we're about to get her into it right now. Um, All right. Got him shuffling up. Uh, what looks like you? Ahmed's on the left. No, 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 no. no. Ahmed is on the right. We Ahmed's on the right. On the left. We got Jay on the left. All right. All right. So we, we, we've got the, the, the roller is on Jay's side, so my guess is he's going first. Okay. But it doesn't look like. Yeah, we're not really uh, Lennis. No, we'll see whoever plucks the card first. You're right. You're um, right. But starting out with that, it looks like Rockruff for yep. Jay. Mm -hmm. um, this is gonna get super interesting. You know, it. I, it I, I do think no matter what, this matchup is favored for Buzzwell. Uh, yeah. For um for uh, Buzzrock. Yeah. Right? Um, because just because you're playing the counter energy to start swinging them doesn't mean you're being able to find it in time. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, J and Jay draws that uh, absolutely useless uh, Giratina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. It's not, not a good card for him to draw right now. <laughs> but that's why you draw right next to Ultra Ball. No problem. Get that boy out of mm -hmm. here. Look, look, first decision. No, right. <laughs> He's like, all right, this one's first. Yep, yep. I, I know I'm getting rid of this. Yeah, we'll yeah, figure yeah. out the other card yeah, in a second. Yeah, it was definitely gone. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, well, what do you think about the Ultra Ball play here? It's, it seemed like he, he had he had the Lele in hand. He had a couple of uh, the Baby Buzz wall in hand. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's what exactly what I was thinking. I was yeah. thinking he, he needs to fish for his Zora with his turn, gets, yep. a ban, gets a band down on it, yeah. and then he might just go for a Lele Cynthia. Oh, and just go um, for the draw supporter? Yeah, he, he doesn't oh, want to okay, go for okay. the um, he doesn't want to go for the possible miss um, with Bridget. That makes sense. Um, and I, I've seen a lot of players make the opposite decision. They yeah. just go, oh, I have a puzzle in my hand. I'm going to look at the top three. I'm like, yeah, excuse yeah, me, yeah. good sir? Yeah, yeah. Like, you want me, you want me to lose? Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't fish back some cards? Right. It's puzzle of time. It's my time. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I choose when I'm throwing this down. <laughs> I'm not um, just trying to. I'm just trying to look at top three. You know, I'm trying to get two cards back later. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, Ahmed's off to a strong start with the sledgehammer. Um, ideally, you want the uh, Buzzwell GX. Yes, right? of course. Yeah. But people are sleeping on oh, yeah. opening sledgehammer. Like, it, wow. It's 130 HP. It's hard to kill in the early games. Yeah, you know? it's, not, it's not even worth two prizes. Yep. So you're just like, all right. Um, I guess this thing's just gonna keep hitting me. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, if you if you think of, especially on the the Lycan Rock. Mm -hmm. Uh, Zorak side, if you think about it, they kind of have to two shot whatever's in the active anyway, because and, and let's say you have the Kukui full bench or you know, like yeah. has got two energy, they're not really going to be one shotting that baby Buzzwall as is anyway. Yeah. And then the added benefit of the GX on the bench, you can begin to max elixir it, poke with the little one, poke, 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 max elixir and come big yeah, swing. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, come yeah, big yeah, swing yeah. with the, the guy on the bench later. It really makes having those opening Guzma hands, like as we saw Ahmed just have and ended up yep. discarding to a Sycamore, um, yep. feel a lot more leaning on you. Exactly. Um, but since he didn't hit elixir, we didn't go for that state. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and maybe that was part of it too. He opened the Guzma and he's like, well, if I draw a fighting, I can boom, kill Zerua. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, just get going out of the gate like that. So I did, Ahmed definitely wants to get to some energy right now. Oh, yeah. Um, Making a tough decision here. He did draw the Mew, mm -hmm. but you kind of don't want to reveal that yet. Uh, you want to show that later on, especially after they drop a Lycan Rock or yes. two down. Yes. So he goes for a quick Super Rod, toss back a Lycan Rock in. Mm -hmm. um, and Ultra Ball, okay, throws the Mew away, throws the Cynthia. Wow, he's really committing he is. to uh, whatever he's trying to fish out. Right what do you now. think he gets here? The, the Remoraid. Oh, right. obviously the Remoraid. Yeah. Uh, I, I was going to say, if he had the strong, he goes for the Diancy Prism Star, but as we just saw, yeah. it doesn't seem like he got that yet, so yeah, this yeah. Rockruff is going to live to fight another day. Mm -hmm. um, which is smart for Jay not to attach that Floatstone yet. He mm -hmm. didn't know what kind of damage output he's going to get off this Buzzle. Yep. And um, uh, most of the new Buzzrock lists aren't even playing Field Blower anymore, right? Mm -hmm. And so they're Correct. just like, all right, whatever. This, this Float is going to stay no matter what, and I want to use it. Yeah. Um, and utilize it to the bench. So he's getting full value out of this rock rough. Oh, a, yeah. a, a little third damage, nothing. Like Lycan Rock already, it's, if it's gonna get hit, it's gonna get KO'd. Exactly. Um, so the third damage is like, all right, cool, we take the turn. Yeah, it, it, it's mostly irrelevant. I mean, you know, the the, the buzz walls, the second attack uh, yeah. does 190. So you know, <laughs> the Diancy puts a 210, a strong make, you know, bumps it over the 200 mark. So yeah. and, and you know, if he is going to attack with a with a Lycan Rock, he's got another rock rough back there. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. he can just attach the energy to that one, and that one can just be ready to. Go into the Black Rock for Bloodthirsty Eyes whenever, you know, it just kind of sits there. Definitely. So we saw Jay's kind of getting punished for getting that opening turn Cynthia. Yeah. Um, but he, he played it anyway because he had a puzzle in his hand. Mm -hmm. um, and right now he's going to have to Sycamore away a puzzle with N and a multi switch. Ooh. Um, definitely not good. And, you, and, you, and he's doing this with two Lele's on bench and no mm. other Zoroark. Yeah. He's working on one Zoroark the whole yeah. game. You don't want that. You don't want that. Um, but the fact that he's playing. Um, the uh, counter energy attackers gives him a little bit of hope, mm -hmm. but a choice ban onto a lele like that's disgusting. That's yeah, the, yeah. That's, that's the worst he can possibly get to. You want those
So, so I mean, you know, I, I guess here you just kind of he just goes in with the lele, right? I mean, it's kind of a, a decent poke. Let's him yeah, for get the 60, stuff set up yeah, in the yeah, back, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Just um, you you definitely make sure that they can't throw a strong on it because yes. if they throw strong on the next turn, I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna two hit yeah. AOU. Yeah. Um, so a quick little energy drive here. Mm -hmm. So you know, just kind of re responding to the pressure of that of that baby buzzwell. You know, it's starting to poke him. He's like, all right, I'll, I'll poke I'll poke you back. Let's, yeah, let's, yeah, let's yeah. figure this out. All so. Right. Ahmed goes with the Sycamore. He did. Um, I actually think he should have Ultra Balled first before going for the Super Rod. And yeah. just talks about the things he Super Rodded. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want the line. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was a little confused by he, that. He got rid of, I don't remember what it was, but it was, the, I don't remember the second card. It was a fighting, he, fighting energy. It was a fighting. Yeah, I know he got rid one. of the Mew, mm -hmm. and I guess he just did. He did, I think didn't it was Mew fighting. Yeah, he's like, yeah. yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's easier. That makes sense. Because, you know, the, the, the Mew is good, but it, 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 even when Jay goes in with a Psychic Attacker, you know, we see he's playing the Mew too. He doesn't have the Mew EX, but a lot of decks do. And the Mew FCO still can't really respond to that unless there you know four prizes and it's copying the Baby Buzz Wall. Then it of can, course, of but, course. You know, it, it can't take the strong. It can't take the Diancy. It doesn't get all the same modifiers. Um, yeah. So yeah. it needs a choice ban if it wants to knock out a Mew EX, but it can't really touch a Mewtwo. So it's you know it's not particularly useful. For yeah, him yeah. This matchup. He's like, Whatever, it's fine. I'll just yeah. get rid of it. Exactly. Um, I do, however, want that fighting energy. Yes. So I, that's the only reason I pretty much disagree there. Um, yeah. I, I need to hit my elixirs later on. Um, oh, you yeah. don't want to lose because your B string just yep. kind of fell on its face. Um, and he gets a sledgehammer in for 60. Exactly. Um, not bad. 110 KKO the Lele. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Buzzwell GX can hit 110 like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no it, tomorrow night. You're like, oh, how many different miles we got? Lycanroc does 110 for just the three energy. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, he's got all kinds of options to clean this up. So. So yeah. Mal's coming down, um, and we see he plucked that. He plucked the first card. Uh, oh, he's flipping those cards. So. I missed way. the first card. Is that a? That might be a counter energy. It might Ooh, be a Zoroark. Okay. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's not Zoroark. It just makes mm -hmm. no sense for him to get that. Yeah. Um, so he's grabbing we'll it, get to in a second. So if you think about it, what are the, the best two cards he do you think that he could play this In this time? right now? Yes. Um probably Lycanroc um to uh, regulate uh, one of those bench ones. Yeah. Yeah, so like Ly yeah, Lycanroc. Yeah, so I, I was going to say I don't hate killing the Remoraid. I don't hate killing the Remoraid. And now Ooh, he's got double DC. Super commitment to this yep. to this Lele right here though. I mean, he can't really, you know, he can, can't really KO it. Yeah. Um, and I don't yeah, looking at the list, Jay's not playing an Acerola. Nope. So those two DCEs are committed. They're there. They are on. Yeah. Oh, oh we're, we're going to town, yes. boys. Um, Energy drive. Just, just yeah, take, yeah. take him out of my face. <laughs> we're going in. We're going yeah, in. You know, you, 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 don't, you don't attack with Zorax. The DCE should go somewhere, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, so, that's where they're at. Um, open. He draws for the turn. Brooklyn Hills out the prism. Yep. Um, very standard play. Uh, he goes with the commitment here. And oh, he, oh, okay. That's good. He yeah. wants to shut off the... Um, all these bench plays that he's gonna make here. Yep. And I think he'll put the thirty on the Lele because that kind of sets it up to get knocked out by that Buzz Wall, uh, right? Uh, Isn't it kind of clean once he activates Sledgehammer? Or do you think it, he's not Sledgehammer is not gonna factor into this game? Because um, he's going thirty thirty and got ninety on it. Um, got it. So so we got eighty left over. Yeah. So let's see. The Buzz Wall is currently doing. 30, 60, 80 with, with the prisms. So, so oh, it's perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah, so he yeah, does that, right. and like now, it, if it comes active, it's just gonna get knocked out. Mm -hmm. Ahmed goes to the odds. So when he kills the GX, he'll go down to three, so he can avoid Jay's baby buzz wolf from getting a lot of damage in. Yeah. Um. Um. And looks like he is committing to this lele. Oh yeah. And this is really awful on Jay's end because it takes his buzz wolf completely out of the equation. Yes. Um. It, it takes does. his stealth jammer offline. He does top deck the, uh, the shaman. Mm -hmm. Um. And looks like he's gonna prep his own, uh, potential GX attack here. Off of his like and rock. And, and we actually don't see Ahmed with, with a lot of Pokemon on his bench yet, so. No, hitting that Remoray did a lot. Yeah, so. Um, and I think. Oh, what's, what's Jay's endgame here? Just go, just pop a quick end and yep. then let him KO the Lele? He's just gonna then take the 100 here. Um, and he's, he's gonna let the Lele get KO'd, and he's like, alright, I'm gonna end you, you're gonna have no artillery in play. And we're, we're going to teach you about this comeback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off of that trade, he actually drew his third double colorless energy. So Which means the Lycan Rock's going to come up. Correct. Claw Slash. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then, so, so, so then with the Claw Slash, like, that's the knockout. But then it's just sitting there waiting to Dangerous Rogue, mm -hmm. right? And then Ahmed got exactly what he needed. He needed oh. Elixir this turn. Yep. Um, and he, now he's going to activate Brooklyn Hill before shuffling. Um, much like people do when they're not trying to slow play you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, we, out here yep. get, we ain't getting stalled out here. We got stuff to do. We gotta get Yeah, we, we, we gotta, we gotta get going. We're not just, oh, let me go through, let's do, uh, fail it. Yep. <laughs>
Oh, it, it looks like Ahmed actually prized the wow. second Remoraid here. Yeah. You, you can tell he kind of, uh, he, he slowed down in the search, it you know, he realized excuse, excuse me? Yeah, wait a second. <laughs> you know, you, you think with the, playing the 2-1 Octillery line, he's like, ah, oh, I gotta worry about that Octillery disappearing, but you know, yeah. still that Remoraid he's gotta go looking for, that, you know. I like the second buzzwell here. Um, yep. Absolutely, you do not use that Bloodthirsty Eyes. Oh, yeah. Uh, you saw the little handshake, like, no sir. Nope, oh, not sir. even close. Give that Lele, I'm talking to him today. <laughs> not even thinking about <laughs> okay. it, yeah. <laughs> um... This is looking really bad for Jay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I think the uh, double Lele's in play and being forced to swing with the Lele, mm -hmm. while it was decent at first, um, and we discussed, like, the, you know, the, getting the 60 damage down onto the Buzzwool is fine. Mm -hmm. Clearly, it's, it's going to not work in his favor. Yeah. Um, he wanted to be more aggressive with other things, um, with, with other attackers. Mm -hmm. And um, now that his Rockruff got regulated, uh, he's pretty much just kind of waiting. Yeah. Um, so, with Ahmed taking the two prizes here, going down to three. That means that the odd prizes off of um, Jay's uh, counter energy is not going to get played into this mm. game. And even yep. if it does, it's a clean KO on whatever he attacks with. Correct. So he's, I'm going oh, to use my counter energy attacker. It's a one. It's a one prizer. Um, we're going to swing with it, but it's really not going to do all that oh, much yeah. right now. Especially yep. after took out the Rock early. Mm -hmm. So um, um, amazing early game play by Ahmed, um, especially with um, his punches. So he's like, all right, target on the Lele. Um, definitely rushed down that rock rough, yep. which I liked. This this math is setting up perfect for him too. You know, it's just every little damage is is getting utilized here. Yeah. So the elixir actually comes down, hits. Yep. Um, means a single B string is going to help him out, but he knows he's going to get end here. Mm -hmm. um, and he's just trying to set up his board like, please just draw me an energy, and I'm chilling. You know. I think that if you're Jay here, you know, we were talking about going with the lichen rock claw slash knockout, but since. Ahmed actually has the Lycanroc on his bench. I think he might just want to go in with the other Lele. Is that not a KO? That th He put 170 damage on the Lele. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And though, so I think you just go in with the other Lele, right? You just go in, do your 60, knock it out. And, and then, then bring up your Lycanroc and go for the KO. Yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah. use the Lycanroc next. Because, you know, Ahmed clearly wants the Dangerous Rogue next turn. So make him Dangerous Rogue something and less, and less you can important. Say Jay, you can see Jay even thinking this over. He yep. definitely had his hand over the Lele. Oh, yep. um, but if he commits that DCE, that's the third one. That's the third and one. And he only right. one Zora can play. Oh, oh, oh! oh. So you can do it with this, yes, yes. I love it. Yep. All right. He, so, need, he needs a modifier because he's doing 50 right now, correct? He needs a choice ban. 60, 50, yeah, yeah, it's just 50. Okay. That's why we didn't think about yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're, you're, you're it wasn't one immediately homing. knockout. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he does have three bands in his deck. Oh. Um, one got burned onto the Lele. Mm -hmm. So we got two left over. We have double puzzles still available. Um, but five to three and no Octillery for Ahmed. Yep. Ahmed's pretty much just saying, please just give me an energy and we end this. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, Jay's getting five cards. You know, he, he's, he's got a trade. He got the band. He's got the band, you know. Okay. He, he's got pretty solid solid odds to, to drawing it. You know? Yeah, absolutely. But... It's making me oh. sweat though. You know, oh, play, playing that in, you're like, ah, yeah, you're like, you miss oh, it here. On, oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Oh, oh, you're off. You're off, Jay. It's oh, off. You're off. Oh, boy. he, he didn't off, realize boy. that. I even picked it up and said, whoa, easy yeah. there. Thirty fifty, Jay. You were supposed to test the bam. Yeah, had it in oh. hand. That's that's. If huge. You guys are watching. Don't forget to attach your toy spans for the KO. Mm -hmm. Um, that's just uh, you know. Uh, Pokemon one on one. I, I could also see Jay, but like maybe, you know, these cards are still pretty new. B string is three and four prizes, baby buzz bowls four. And you're still used to using sledgehammer when it's uh yep. it's live, which yep. is like whatever. Like man. maybe it, he just thought everything. the sledgehammer was yeah. live here and then that's where he went with it. Um, so I met hits an elixir. Yes. Um he whiffs said elixir that he hit. Yep. But uh here we are. <laughs> you know, he 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 got the play it. He, he got got the yeah. roll of the dice there at least, so you um, know, that's okay. What does Ahmed need to do? I think he, if he benches a Pokemon and he just and he this active gets knocked out. Then yeah. it makes that G, uh, that dangerous rogue automatically KO um, his lichen rock mm -hmm. that he's gonna attack with. Correct. Right. So yes. you, you don't want to bench that. Yeah. You want you want to feed him the puzzle that he has active. Mm -hmm. Go down to three on bench and be like, you need a band and a D or and an X card yes. to take correct. out my own lichen rock. Here. Band energy is, yeah. is what you need to and kill the, the lichen rock. And, and honestly, it might work in Jay's favor. Jay forgot to attach the band, and I'm at me like, did he just miss it? Did yeah. he have it in his hand? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. We got layers, layers of thinking. That's true. You know, like uh, Ahmed, maybe like you know. I mean, clearly Jay thought he had the knockout, but you know he could just think. Oh, like, he's got the he got the, the goose, end, he's got the Guzma off the end. Of oh, three. end of three draw card. He got energy Guzma. Yeah, this is uh, this is curtains for the kid. Oh yeah, this is. Um, nice. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out for Jay. Even Jay comes back with a counter energy attack. He's gonna lose. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and he doesn't even have the, the flippity flap in play. Or right, he's got it in hand. No, no. Um, he was gonna. Uh, he can't watch him learn a GX attack. It can he? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it, yeah, 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 it's, yeah. it's Mimic you. It mimic you, there you, mimic yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. do that. We've been partying with so many counter attackers all game. Correct. Pardon, Chet. <laughs> we can only do so much, my friends. <laughs> we're, 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 um, so Jay's thinking, fine. whatever, I'm going to go for this N and then watch and learn UGX attack mm -hmm. and try to close this out without ever getting onto it. 
So he, he draws it now. He, now, now, oh, now you put the joystick on. Okay? Windmills now, that now, band now. Now you can put the joystick on. Windmills it boy. down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he actually only has a Kakui for a supporter in his hand. He's, but he only traded once. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We're hoping. Oh, I don't like. I don't like describing that Rockruff. Me either. Uh, he lost. Yep, that's yep. A, that's a scoop, boys. Oh yeah. Um. Great game. Yep. I think Jay did exactly what he needed to do, targeting on the auxiliary early. Mm -hmm. um, I think the double DCE attachments onto the Lele was extremely greedy, and yes. he definitely paid for it yeah. once that multiple got online. I would agree. Um, once he was able to like and rock up the like uh, the rock rough on the bench, KO it and was like, yeah, I'm not going. To, I'm not letting Sledgehammer get activated. Yeah. And you had to swing at me with a Lele mm -hmm. instead of uh, any other attacker. Yeah, I mean, he, he was definitely on his back on the back foot. You know, he had all those Leles in play. Only one Zork. He wasn't really trading a bunch. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know, just the. The nail in the coffin was that miss the missing band. The missing yeah, that, was, band. that was actually yes. awful. Um, yeah. Ahmed hitting goes off a three. Chill. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, I saw him discard one of the early games. <laughs> exactly, he exactly. ball one away yeah. first turn. Yeah. Like, like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> like th those two things combined together, like Ahmed drawing very well and a slight miscalculation on Jay's end, just just yeah. put it put it home. Um, we we need to get counter energy involved. Yes. Jay definitely needs to get that um that uh, that mindset involved. You need more than one Zora can play. Yes. Yeah. I, so I, so so I, I think last game you know we saw Jay he opened with the Ultra Ball he opened with the Lele, so you know he had he had those two cards. Get the Zora. Get Just the draw card. Lele Bridget three Zoruas Ultra Ball Lele supporter next turn. That's fair. Uh, I, I mean. You, you, you've got to get that draw online. You can't get away with trading once a turn. You know, you have eight, four, four Zorak. It's eight cards in your deck. You're not playing nearly as many supporters. And, as you, and you saw him decks. drawing into the Zoras and the Zoras later yep. on. And you're just like, all right. He's uh, just plunking up his hand. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, like, yeah, I got all these yeah, Pokemon yeah. on my hand. I know where to put them. You're you getting know? smacked for weakness, but that's why we're on the counter energy. Exactly. You, you let him take the two prizes exactly. and you go up, and then you make a huge comeback off of the end. Yep. Um, so, and, same game plan. Take out the Octillery. Mm -hmm. Get counter energy involved. Get some more Zorak into play. Um, Ahmed, do exactly what you're doing. Uh, don't prize the uh, other Remoraid. <laughs> don't prize the other Remoraid. <laughs> yeah, don't give a prize Remoraid. Alright, so we got seven. Four th the classic 4 3 spread, you know, to make a tree, he's got a seven yeah, yeah. cards. Uh, here's four and here's three, oh. sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Jay opened busted. I think that's yeah. an Ultra Ball Bridget. Yeah, um, it looks like yeah, he's got like just like about that. everything he could want for a first turn. Yeah, yeah. You know, going first on top of that, it just. If, if Jay can pull a game out, this is the opening he needs. Top's puzzle. Oh yeah. Um, I think we're just gonna see a typical Bridget turn. It's Bridget. Maybe maybe he'll bench the uh, the little buzzwall that's in his hand. Maybe he'll sit yeah. on it. But, yeah. Did he have Bridget? Is that a Guzmo? No, I'm pretty sure I saw Bridget. Ooh, maybe not. What is it? Maybe. What am I looking at? Like, oh, it's Sycamore. Oh, got it. Sycamore and double. All right, cool. I'm, like turning my hot head yeah, sideways, yeah, like, trying oh, to get yeah. a good look at it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you going for here, Zorwa? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, if if he has the the Sycamore and he kept the Sycamore in his hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just get the Bridget out, you know. Get, get Lele, Lele Bridget? Lele Bridget, okay. you know. Oh, I, I, I think you just want to get all, all the Zoruas out, you know. You, you need to draw, you know, turn two, Zoroark trade, and another Zoroark trade. Absolutely. You know, if, once you get all of those going, you get all of those out, then he's he's really... really right, I, just, I actually just disagree with what's going on right now. He should have got the Lele Bridget down. Mm-hmm. Looking at the list, does he? He's got he's got the three Bridget, yeah. So I mean, I, I don't think he. That's very him. odd of him to make said decision, um, mm -hmm. and I don't think Ahmed's gonna let him get Baby Buzzwell online. Yeah. Right. And I, so it's pretty much. Like, uh, oh, oh, higher. Apparently, we're not talking loud enough. All right. Well, we'll, right, we'll, we'll speak we up a little him, bit. We gotta give him a little bit more. Well, oomph. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, he touches the strong to uh, to the rock roof. Yep. Would it? My man's my man's wildin'. Right. I I, um, I think it's it's mostly fine because he, right 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 now what he's saying he's like I I went first I got a strong in this rock rough you know what I'm gonna do next turn I'm gonna lichen rock I'm gonna dangerous rogue something and I'm I'm gonna put the pressure on you know yeah yeah w whatever he puts energy on Jay's like I'm just gonna try to knock it out next turn okay you know I I think that that's that's what he's thinking but you know Ahmed has all the correct cards in his deck. Well, clearly, he, he doesn't have. He, he, he's not <laughs> going for it. Right, right, but you know, that's a little yeah, risky because yeah. if Ahmed's able to get the Diancy Prism Star, the Strong Energy, and the Buzzwool GX, yeah. that's a knockout on that Rock Ruff. You know, you're down the Strong, you're down a Rock Ruff. That's so it's a lot, lot to lose quickly. But big, big risk. But um, the fact that exactly. he played the Strong Energy down, you're like, all right, this probably isn't yes, happening. Exactly. This turn. Yep. Um, it's not one of his two baby Buzzwool. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think he missed Brooklyn. He did, yeah. So it doesn't look like we're getting a GX or a Remoraid coming out this so turn. Just retreating Saving right into it. the oh, yeah. me like, um, it's on you, homie. Yep. So if 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 Jay gets a hot start here, he could actually just second strong choice ban, like and rock up the Lele and just take two prizes right now. And wow, he is super committed right now. Oh yeah. Um, so before trading, he's gonna go for the double puzzle, uh, grab back Sycamore and grab the Ultra Ball. Yeah. Um, 
I think he absolutely knows he's going to play Ultra Ball this turn mm -hmm. um, and get sort of the ban and the rock growth. That's very odd. What do you think about doing that uh, b before the trade? Do you, That's what I was do you thinking. Think you yeah, should have yeah, traded first. Maybe I, I, get some I, I would have gone traded first. Way. Maybe be like, oh, I'm going to grab this lock and uh, like and rock. Yeah. And then knock an ultra ball for a different target, or I can bench that um, that that rock roof, mm -hmm. and then I can puzzle back that like and rock later on. Yes, yeah. first swinger. So all I'm attacking with this game is double like and rock. Makes sense. Um, so he gets blower down. Mm -hmm. Um, in a sycamore, they uh, fist bump. No high fives out here in the hood. <laughs> and fresh seven. Oh yeah. Hasn't used trade yet. He is not, so, you know, at least next turn he'll be starting off with a big hand, assuming he doesn't get in, you know. Yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. He's seven, so. he's got the plus two, he's got more cards, you know. Um, trade away that Bridget that we should have played on turn one. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he no, no, he's, he's, doing, he's doing fine, he's doing yeah, fine, he's doing fine. Yeah. See, now the Zora boys come out. Oh, he, yeah. He, he could have spammed them, but, um, all right, yeah, he, got, he likes it. Just claw slash go. It, I mean, it, it looks like the, the Bridget free option, or, you know, Bridget free plays here, they're working out for him. He's drawing into his pieces, he's getting some aggression going. Mm -hmm. Maybe he thought, you know, I can't play Bridget. That's too slow. I need to get moving out of the gate. Yeah, definitely. To, to, to keep up with this Buzzwool deck. Yeah. So we've got the N on Ahmed's side, knocking J down. To so five. You, usually it's the other way around in this matchup. Absolutely. You, know, you see the Buzzwool going early, taking the prizes. Zorox's playing the N's, trying to get him to stick, you know, slow them down a little bit. But it looks like Ahmed's got to got to flip the script and see what he can do to, to make a comeback here because, you know, it's – not really any reasonable way for him to knock out the Lycan Rock on this turn. Absolutely. And not. that Lycan Rock is as is is gonna knock out the baby buzzwall. Of course. So it will put him up ready to go. You know, maybe if he pokes it with the baby buzzwall, gets the second one in play, forces mm -hmm. Jay down to four. Uh, that could do something. He he, he has the Brooklet. Oh. Um what yeah. are you getting with this? Rock Ruff or the Prism it or depends. the baby or the um GX? Uh it depends on what else is in his hand, but I would almost say just prism, go. No what. Just go for the prism. You Plus need to get 20. that more damage on. You can yeah. promote the Mew for free retreat and the, go back into whatever attacker you have. Um, you know he can put an energy on the Mew to kind of just knock something else mm -hmm. out. Um, he he does have a lock and rock on hand. Yes. Um, oh, okay. Which is awesome. If he has like a, like an energy, then maybe Rock Ruff is this play. Yeah, but he might have prized all of the ro the other Rock Ruff. It doesn't he, I it, don't see it. Looks it looks like he's he's searching. It's a pretty cute photo, the new one. Yeah. I, I, I can tell it no matter what. You're right. Uh, you get yeah. the Oxy. All right, cool. Yep. Pr uh, prioritize the Remoraid instead of the damage. Makes sense. Because um, he's saying this hand really sucks, and I'm um, definitely going to end and try to make comebacks here. Oh, yeah. I need my Oxy online. Exactly. Um, and, you know, he, he's, he's just going to gonna poke with the baby Buzzwall. Uh, maybe he's thinking, you know, I got Brooklyn in play. Maybe he's got that second baby Buzzwall in his deck. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as soon as Jay takes out this, ba uh, this Buzzwall, then he can just come back up with the second one and yeah. Yeah. force him to just work his way through multiple 130 HP single prize attackers and then come up with some uh, some big finishes in the late game. Um, Jay's hand, we have an N, we have a band. Um, what are you trading from this? Just this empty Zorua? This is I, I got a Mewtwo, yeah. um, the field blower left over. Yes. Um, you kind of want to conserve the field blower for a different target because you know we're going to get rid of this baby right now. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't hit a second Zorua, which really, really oh. hurts his hands. Mm -hmm. So right now he's thinking, Ahmed just kind of did nothing. Mm -hmm. Like He's like, oh, I, he got a Brooklyn Hill, and then he just swung with a sledge. You, you, you definitely don't end yeah. here. You definitely yeah. don't end here. Um, I will, however, I would field blower this Brooklyn Hill like no tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. cool. Oh, yeah. 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 So take and this off. And, and, um, ban uh, commitment. And uh, and honestly, oh, okay. I, I think he wants, he's hungry for that Lele on the bench. I don't think he wants to put Ahmed at, at, uh, at four. Yes. Because, I mean, maybe he doesn't know Ahmed plays the, Two, the second the one. Second, uh, like, yeah. you know, I don't think we saw it last game, no, no, so no, no, it's still no, no, kind no. of a surprise. And but. then Mew with the fighting energy can also copy the Sledgehammer exactly. and go into four. Yep. And then now we just have a Sledgehammer there for no reason. Exactly. Um, absolutely key for him to take out the um, Brooklyn Hill with the field blower there. Oh, because it stops all of those plays by itself, but just on the virtue of yeah. the stadium not, um, not existing. Did they double support or something happen here? He didn't double support it. It looks like Ahmed flipped over a chunk of his deck. So maybe it's like an accidental reveal. Um, you know, some of the the rules they've instituted recently, they're kind of cracking down on, the, on these accidental yeah. draws, these accidental reveals. So, you know... Maybe he saw, like, a, you know, drew two. He had five, went to draw another one that stuck together or something. Okay, okay. So it looks like that's the rule with the ruling. Yep. Um, the judges saw multiple cards flipped over from the top of the deck. Yes. So they just shuffled the deck, um, go to your opponent. Yep. And um, looks like no prize penalty. It doesn't look like they're, they're, they're giving him the prize penalty. Yeah. You know, I, I think that in situations like this where you have eyes on the entire situation, it's it's mostly reasonable to just kind of let yeah, it go. Absolutely, yeah, just be like, yeah, whatever, man. Give the warning, give the, you know... I, Enforcing those rules pretty heavily makes a lot more sense, at least to me, when it's more ambiguous situations, right? Yeah. You know? So we see Ahmed popping off right now. Octillery, 
Buzzle GX, Buzzle GX. He's uh, going got a Rock Ruff down and then got a Brooklyn Hill. Oh, yeah. Um, looks like he's not going for the Sledge Chamber play this turn. Mm. Uh, at least not enough of the Mew onto the um, Lycan Rock, right? Yes. So he's definitely going to try and kill this Lycan Rock. And how he's going to do it is through, you think, Elixir Beast Ring? Yeah, I mean, that, that that's that's got to be really all he's got. You know, Elixir Beast Ring, there. Attach oh. Beast Ring. Yeah. The, the name of the game here is Ahmed needs to play a Beast Ring this turn, or he's kind Good of to lose. Yeah. in a yeah, lot of lost, trouble. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, so yeah. Band comes down, Octillery for four. All right. Oh, he he no, drew an Elixir no and a rings. Sycamore. No rings. Uh, <laughs> He, he drew two no. fighting energy off of that artillery, yeah. though. That's that's got that's got to feel rough. That's why we don't play Buzz Rock. Let's go, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I don't like this. Never like this yeah. deck all too much. I want that beast in that gay room tea. Oh yeah. But you know. All right, Sycamore comes down. This, this is um, this is a big Sycamore. See if he can hit one of those beast rings. One, two, three, four. Four. Five. Six. Nothing yet. One more. Oh. Nothing. Elixir. It, one has to hit. Yeah. Yeah. Calm down. Did he attach the fighting? He did. He and that's why he's thinking right now. He's like, this has got to go to the other one. Yep. And I just got to hope he, yeah. that Jay just does nothing. Jay's pretty much, yeah. I'm scooping this he, game. He yeah, he's, he scooped it. it up. Yeah, yeah, it's over. I would do that. You know, I, I, Absolutely. No, we're going to game oh, yeah. three. Um, and then now you can take your time on game three. Yep. Uh, quick game for game. Yep. Qu quick game one for Gomez. Um, Jay Young is running him over game two. We saw oh. the inconsistencies out of Buzzwell. Really show face right there. Oh, yeah. Um, and you know, I, I think that. You know, scooping very early is something you see a lot from the the, the, the top, top players. players. You know, Absolutely. It, it's not that Ahmed couldn't have won that game too. You know, maybe something goes down. He plays a bunch of B strings the next turn, and he, he makes starts to make a comeback, and he wins. It's not that he couldn't do that. It's that he looks at the clock. He goes, "We got about 20 minutes left. <laughs> you know, if I if I want to win this game, it's going to take me at least 10. Yeah, but I'm probably not going to win this and game. And we're going to end up tying when this is like, in my opinion, a very favorable matchup yes. for Buzz Rock. Oh yeah. Um, even with the counter. Energy exactly. Though, right. And so he's just like, whatever, man. We'll go to the next game. Hopefully, I can just beat you. It, yeah, exactly. Walk out of here with a W instead yeah, of a tie. You know, I'm going first. You know, it's it's the game three. You know, I, I get to do everything. You know. Jay can't really do the aggressive like turn to like and rock stuff because now he's going second, so he can't. Yeah. You know, boom, boom, and before. take out take out a rock rough. Exactly. And then he saw he probably the other rock rough and was just like, all right. Oh, uh, yep. I, I guess, I, like I guess man. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, Ahmed could actually be the one that does that to Jay instead. Now you know he could be yeah, killing yeah. his like you know rock rough turn two, doing all kinds of stuff like that. So. Okay. You know, um, it makes sense that Ahmed would just call it and say, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll try again. Yeah, yeah, we're done here. Yep. Um, <laughs> let's see here. So. Ahmed, that game, just kind of stumbled the entire time. Oh, yeah. Really needs to open up the GX. Um, counter Energy has not been a factor. Not not even, not Whatsoever. At all. Haven't seen it played. The, you know, the counter attackers have just kind of been in the way. They've mm -hmm. been taking up space on the bench, you know. But, you know, maybe we'll, you will see that, that classic turn one Bridget from Jay. He'll get more than one Zorak out. I think we've only seen one Zorak out both games. Yeah, yeah he's like, eh, I guess I'll just go with the you know, uh, double Rock Ruff. And... Um, all right, so he, he didn't prize a rock rough, so no. you know he's not gonna have his only rock rough knocked out on the first turn this time. Yeah, which is something I'm sure Ahmed is uh, thankful for out of the gate. What are you getting here, Remorade or um, Buzzle GX? I think that you, you, I mean, I, it, again, it depends on what is in, is in his hand, but it's mm -hmm. almost certainly, I would think the GX if he has no other access to an attacker. But it looks like he's got the Sycamore, he's got that. He's like, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna get this out. I'm, I'm setting yeah, it up. Yeah. He's getting the draw next turn. Um, yep. he's, he's probably thinking um, Brooklyn Hill instant GX, yeah. Um, and then Brooklyn Hill's not instant artillery, mm -hmm. and so I want the, I want the Remoray down for at least a turn. That's a good um, point. Do it has one. to evolve, and Buzzwool doesn't. Yeah, you know, and, and turn one energy, it he's fine with it going on the on the rock rough if he misses. He plays more Buzzwools than he does Remorades, so he could just draw into them. Yeah, yeah. All, all of those make it a, a pretty reasonable decision. So we seen Elixir come down. Um, I think it's going on the rock rough if it goes on anything. Oh, yeah. I agree completely. Or, it just, you know, it doesn't go on anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you we're get too strong, yeah, yeah, and yeah. unfortunately, you, you can't elixir those. Uh, three whiffs in a row? Three? Uh, from continuing from last game? Last game, he, he hit one. Oh, the he, final one. He hit the right, one. Right. So he went the, two, the two, most irrelevant two, two, one. 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 Yeah, 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 the most irrelevant one he, he managed to, to get. Do you like that retreat? I don't. I don't I don't love it. I mean, he's got the floatstone down already. There's a decent chance it gets blowered because Oric plays with multiple you know, blowers. Multiple of course. blowers. Yeah. Um, but, I, but I feel like you're committing to the sledge here. Yeah. When yeah. I, I, you really want to get the 30 down mm. with the, um, the GX. Exactly. Yeah, and, and, you know, there's not really a way that the rock rough gets knocked out. You know, Jay can't really put that kind of turn one no, pressure on. No, absolutely not. So it's not going to get knocked out. So, I mean, I guess he's just afraid of it getting blowered. That, that's got to be really it, yeah. is, is my guess. And so... Jay kind of showing us 
He's got draw supporter. Yep. Um, the bridge is coming down. Oh yeah. And we're getting some Zoroa. Oh, open hard Bridget too. Hard Bridget. Oh bro. yeah. That's <laughs> that's that's the way you want to do it. And you can see Evo. Evo immediately. Turn one eighty damage maybe mm -hmm. off of um floatstone to DCE. Yeah. I mean, if he if he's got it, uh, it's very aggressive. It's, it it's, it's completely change of tone to what he did the last couple yeah. games, which is I want rock ruffs for days yes, and exactly. then get the lightning rod. Okay. Yeah. So you know, if he has the floatstone DC, I like this play. If he doesn't, then maybe I mean, kind of what we were just talking about. You know, he Ahmed got that rem raid because it's got to evolve. Yeah. You know, you don't need the buzzball is a basic, but you know, that's why Mewtwo can kind of get set up later in the game because it's it's a. Uh, so Amazing. we're seeing a puzzle time for one, and I'm pretty sure he's keeping. Oh, I thought he was gonna keep Ultra Ball on. Same. Oh, oh he's, he's, he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna trade away the puzzle. Yep. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. You're right. Um, so Ahmed smells blood in the water right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's like, all right, his hand is garbage. We don't know if anything's good on top. We're gonna Brooklyn Hill. Mm -hmm. um, Brooklyn's definitely gonna grab the GX here. So th did yeah, Ahmed top deck that Brooklet, or was it in his hand? Do you think he didn't play it so Jay couldn't I grab just fighting Pokemon? I think he just drew oh, it. Okay. Um, we are, however, looking at each other's hand, like looking at both hands like, uh, and we yeah. can't get a good view of his. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm pretty sure if he had it last turn, it would have helped support his uh, his board state to getting a GX instead yep. of the prison. And right then he, he could put the GX in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So strong jump comes down, and Cynthia. Cynthia, okay. all right. It looks like he, he's, he's got a pretty solid board right now. You know, there are no two prize attackers, so that Mewtwo can do some damage, but it's not going to prey on anything, you know, Absolutely. super, super important. Um, so it looks like Jay had an end anyways. Yeah, he did. Still opted to play for the puzzle. Mm, I wonder why. Maybe he's just like, I need to put, you know, if there's something very good in these top three, I want to make sure I get it okay. next turn. You no, know? So you can decide whether or not he's going to trade now or trade later. Exactly. Uh, maybe get to a rock growth. Mm -hmm. and and, and maybe he was thinking, oh, Ahmed might have a crap hand. I just don't end. Yep. Uh, see the puzzles. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I think it's just, it's just about making sure his turn two is a, as good as it can be, no yeah, matter what. Definitely. So Ahmed gets down um, an elixir here. Without the GX, even he has an Ultra Ball in hand. It's mm. very weird. But I, I guess he wants to go Rock Ruff party. That's, that's what it looks like. Well. Especially when you stand on the Mewtwo. You're like, whatever. I'm going to get a, um, a Rock Ruff mm -hmm. using Claw Slash and the other one using Jex Attack if need be. Yep. And, and you know, the, that Mewtwo's got a Choice Ban and a DC. It's doing a lot of damage yeah, to the Buzzball GX. Full commitment. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just like, all right, I just won't put a GX in play. So your Choice Ban can't do any more damage to anything. Yeah, yeah. Like your, your, your Mewtwo's doing minimal, yes. minimal damage Absolutely. to me. And, you know, he, he's already got that, that, that first prize kind of just guaranteed sitting there, you know. Starting that Zerua made it easy for him to just, you know. Okay, so looks like he got a, a Lycan Rock, a Buzzwool, and a Strong Energy off the Octi for three. Yes. Um, that's amazing. That is very, very The only good. thing he's missing is, like, a Beast Ring. Exactly. And then his board's pretty much all set. Yeah. He is just could sit on that hand for most of the game and just yeah. be ready to go. So he broke the hills and shuffles the deck. Yep. He benches the Baby Buzz. He does. Um, so I, I don't mind that because now that he's at five, he's going in with the Mewtwo. You know, and then force him to take out the Mewtwo. Yes. Go to so four. He's just going to keep attacking with Mewtwo, keep poking him with it, keep bugging him with it until he does something about it. Yeah. You know, Ahmed's response to that is to... I'm going like and rock, rock, baby. You know, yeah. He's going to like and rock around it, maybe go for that GX. Because unlike Ahmed, Jay is now putting two prize attackers into play, so Ahmed is able to navigate around that Sledgehammer turn much more effectively. Definitely. Um, and we're really showing the uh, poise and intelligence of uh, Ahmed's um, decision making to mm. scoop that game too. Yeah. And then now he's just like, look, look, look what we got. Like, this, oh, yeah. this is pretty much an, a really, really tough game for him to lose. Mm. Um, but Jay can definitely pull it out with the counter energy attackers plus N combos. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, so if those don't get factored into the game, we're going to see Jay have a super tough time. And there's that counter energy we were just talking about. And, you know, he's got it in his hand now. He's sitting on it. He's, uh, he pops a field blower, take away the full stone option, yep. and um, one of the Brooklyn Hills. Basically saying, whatever you're promoting, you're committing to it if, yes. I, take a, if I take a KO exactly. next turn. Because he's definitely not doing it right now. Um, force, smacks for 80. Force him to, re to replace those kinds of things. Definitely. Yeah. That's great. So I managed to right into a Lycan Rock, three fighting energy. Um, what do you do with this Lycan Rock? Are you bringing anything up? Um, it, it's a... I don't say I go with the other Zoroa. Yeah. Like, I mean, it, you're walking into the Sledgehammer turn then, but that's... Probably fine, especially if you're doing it with your sledgehammer. Especially, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because it's got 80 damage on it, right? Like, anything is, you breathe on that thing wrong, it's going down next turn. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. who cares if the sledgehammer gets the extra damage, you know? And you don't have anything that's, like, going to get O-code by it right now. Exactly. Like, what do you do? Grab my Lightning Rock? Yep. Perfect. Okay, so cut off the draw. Yes. I'll keep him at one trade the whole game. Because uh, it definitely doesn't look like he's going to Zoro it back anytime, yeah. anytime soon. 
and Ahmed might just go with the Sycamore here. Okay. Looks like he's dumping. You know, he's got that super rod to get those energy back later. He's got four in play he already. He definitely wants to see so. it, though. He just hit Elixir and a, and a Beast Ring. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, uh, we got we got full art, Buzzwell. Like oh. GX, full art, other Buzzwell GX. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's styling. He's styling. Super styling. He came here to party. Ooh, top deck that strong energy immediately, too. Um, so... What do you uh, trade? The, trade the multi switch away. Oh yeah. yeah. What yeah, do you think you're doing uh, as Jay here? You, you're just going for the knockout on the Mewtwo. Nothing terribly exciting, you know. Is, is just poking, poking with with that Mewtwo, forcing him to deal with it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I'm pretty sure the prizes are incorrect. He has two Zora was knocked out, so Correct. Ahmed is definitely at four prizes. Yes. Um, yes. and Jay's at six. Yes. Um, which, so a which, little, little slow behind on the stream when we're doing back here. Um, however, that's very relevant, and it's why we wanted to bring oh, up yeah. uh, Sledgehammer's online for Jay. Yeah. Um, it, 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 it's a kind of kind of a newer thing, you know. I feel like, at least not in recent years, we haven't seen so many effects at once in game that make the prize differential, mm -hmm. or you know, the exact amount of prizes that important. Yeah. You know, and it's been around forever. We're all so used to, and we're used to uh, shuffle, draw this many cards. But you know, now we've got. This is how I get punished yes. for playing way too aggressive. Yeah. And then right now it's like I'm gonna get punished in like six different ways. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. And whatever else. East ring, baby buzz wall. Counter energy. Counter yeah. energy. There, there are a plethora of other, uh, you know, ultra beast attackers that do other silly things uh -huh. at, at certain prizes. You know, it's they're all over the place. Okay, I like this. Jay Young just. Taking the one prize, taking it, keeping Sledgehammer available, be like, you go ahead and knock out um, mm -hmm. my Mewtwo here, and I'm gonna respond back with my own Lycanroc. Yep. Um, Ahmed really just needs to Lycanroc up this uh, this Rock Ruff. Yes. And be and just claw slash it out of the game, mm -hmm. and then he's just like, all right, you need a um, multi switch, a Lycanroc, and another energy in order to GX attack my Lycanroc, yep. and I'm gonna respond with my own Lycanroc next turn. Yeah. With his own GX attack. Oh yeah. Um, plus some Beast Rings, so. I really just see uh, Ahmed closing out this one. He just he just sitting. At, he has the Lycan Rock in hand, correct? Oh no, he doesn't. I think it's the final card. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, finding blah 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 blah. No, he's he's hiding it from us. Okay. No, I don't think he is. Oh, the Lycan Rock, the active is the one that. Oh, the, that's came the one. Out. He, yeah, yeah. He he last came before the second one. Before the second one last turn. Yeah. Because he, you know, he he really doesn't want to mess with the Mewtwo at all. He doesn't really care about it, you know? The the Buzzwolves don't have energy, they're not attacking. He's got all this energy on the, the Lycanroc and the Rockruffs. You know you know he's going in with, with those. So he goes with the Claw Slash anyways. Yes. Um, I think he's just saying, go ahead and GX attack me and I'll respond back with yep. one? Yeah, that's that makes sense. You know, he's he's like, oh, I'll, I'll just trade with you, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm fine throwing, throwing tit for tat here. I'm up in the prize trade, you know? Oh, but if there's a turn to flippity flap, it's now, oh, yeah. and I, I just pretty much disagree with the GX attack here. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, I would trade first. He, um, not stop making commitments like the Lycan Rock evolution. Yeah. Um, and he, he's just kind of going, I'm going to have uh, this is going to happen. He, um, but he, he, but he whiffed anyway on the counter. He, he had the Lele in hand. I mean, assuming the Mallow is in deck, he could have just Mal. He had the Floatstone in hand already. You know, he discards it here. He could have just Mallowed for shame and trade or okay. shame and counter and just just went in with it. Yeah. You know, you see him grabbing this shame and now, but. You know, he's, he's about to go even on prizes, so it's not as big. He's just sitting in his hand. Mm -hmm. You know, he, uh, to me, it seems like he's doing these in a little bit of a backwards order. You know, he's going the dangerous rogue, and then he'll try to go flippity-flap next agreed, turn. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Because now, this Lycan Rock can get knocked out. By the um, by the Beast Ring that's about to happen. Correct. So, Ahmed's just, Ahmed's just Brooklyn Hilling. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think he's even going to grab anything. I think he's just checking to make sure he's got fightings left. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've yeah, seen him like, Sycamore like, away a couple. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. I, I saw two at least, <laughs> yep. um, which means this ring's working. And he's, he's got the, the Beast Energy in hand, so yeah. he's he's at 190 so far. Or 210 with 210, the... 210 with so Prism. Yeah, it's, it's clean. It. Clean! Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's, uh, that's what Ahmed likes to see, I'm sure, is a nice, clean... Clean, nice KO. Oh, yeah. Um... He definitely wants to see a super, uh, super Rod at some point right now off of the mm -hmm. Sycamore. Yeah, this would be the perfect time for a Super Rod. You know, he, he could yeah. put back the um, the, the Lycan Rock. He could put back two more Fighting Energy. So Sycamore's coming down. And, you know, we see him losing two more Energy there. So it's, uh, if, if he loses this game, it's because he doesn't draw Energy plus correct. Lycan Rock here. Yes, exactly. Um, so he got the Lycan Rock. There's oh, the, rod. the Super Rod. All right, we're chilling. All right. We're He's good. So what... What, what does Jay have in his hand that we know of? We know that he has a Lele. A Flippity Flap. We know he has, he has a Lele, Flippity Flap. Float Stone. One Float Stone got discarded. Mm -hmm. And then there's one on that Rock Ruff. Yeah. So, I, I think that this is where, where Jay's going to go in with the Flippity Flap. 
But then, you know, even if Ahmed doesn't respond, suddenly that becomes a colorless energy on a flippity flap. It's just kind of sitting there, you know? Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't oh, but even then, like, Ahmed just goes for game off yep. of whatever he attacks with. Yep. Um, GX attacks. Exactly. So, um, Second he's, he's, he's in a super tight spot. going so in on this one. Double string. So we see two more fighting energy going on to the Buzzwall GX on the bench, you know. That's that's kind of the nature of this B-string card, you know. You hit them at these pivotal turns and suddenly boom, boom, boom. You've got everything ready to go. Yeah. And, you know, Ahmed actually hit both of those B-strings. You know, he's not playing a ton of them because it's a pretty situational card. <laughs> of course, of course. But, you know. He missed the last game. He missed, and, uh, yeah, he ain't missing enough. This, this is the <laughs> first time we've seen B-string played uh, in the series. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. But when it oh, but when it hits oh, oh it hits oh and it hits hard oh yes bruh <laughs> it goes in got him. when it's got there. him oh yeah um he's in he's in checkmate um yep. Jay needs to go in and then just hope Ahmed doesn't even draw energy yep. after KOing the buzzle in response mm -hmm. that's that that's all that's all he's got so yeah. he's gonna promote he's gonna put the you know the it, close stunner up if if he mallows then he can't in. Ahmed's got that artillery in play we just saw him shuffle a ton of energy back. Um, if you're Jay, you've got to feel like you're not in the best position right now. No. <laughs> he's looking around, he's like, what do I even do here? Yeah. <laughs> I got to end, I got to hope he doesn't get this. See, and, and, the, and then this is kind of like what we were talking about, how maybe he should have gone flippity-flap and then Lycanroc. Because at flippity-flap, he still has to do the, the two energy attack off a of Buzzwell to knock it out, or the yeah. three energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's still terrible. how you knock it out, because yeah. it's just hard, it's awkward to kill. And then... Suddenly, Ahmed has to deal with the Lycan Rock, and then the Lycan Rock can go in and aggressive, mm -hmm. whereas the Flippity Flap couldn't if Ahmed, for some reason, misses the knockout next turn. Yep. So, you know, the the, the counter energy attackers, you want to use them and then let them go down. Like they're not something that can sustain a game. No, not at all. They're they, they're they're uh, one hitter quitters. Yes, yes, like, exactly. Bang and we out. Yep. Use yeah. use and done. Gone. See ya. Like they they are not trying to hang out. Nor should they. You know, imagine if those two energy got to stick around and if it could go in. You know, yeah. Like, that's. That'd be I, way I, too I good. I actually think Jay's not going with an end here. He wants to go with the Mallow. He's just he's, so. Yeah. And that's that's honestly just you're kind of conceding the game over. You just ask Ahmed, do you have the energy? Do you have the energy? I mean, and um, as of right now, Ahmed does not. We have look it. at he doesn't. I <laughs> no, saw an end no. in his hand. Maybe there's a Sycamore as Jay well. Jay with the hard reads. Yeah, maybe Jay with the hard reads. He sees all that energy in play. He saw him discard so many. He's like, man, you probably only have like one left. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Draw it. <laughs> all right, so, so we got double puzzle down. That Me Too Evo's coming back. Oh yeah. Oh, he's coming back with the vengeance. And okay. I actually, and I, I, I like this more than the, the flippity flap. It's bigger. It's got more HP. Yeah. Oh, no. It one shots the buzz wall. That's what we care about right now. It one shots the buzz wall. Like. So. Psychic. All right. KO. That is a fresh KO. After I trade, of course. Yeah, yes. Yes, of course. Hang on. Whoa, hang on. He, he skipped He skipped a trade. Did, did he mallow for those two cards and put them he in did. his hand? He instantly put them. He forgot to trade for them. He forgot to trade for them, and then he just traded and for two more cards. I, and I'm pretty sure they're aware of the situation. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's it's good they caught it. It's good they caught it. Of course, it. of course. You know, after he, after he already saw the cards and put them in his hand. I mean, who who hasn't done that with Mallow? A thousand, you know, I've done yeah, that yeah, with Mallow. Yeah, I yeah, put yeah. the card straight in my hand, and they're like, wait, wait, you got to trade. It's not exactly how it works. And then you're just like, ah, oh, dang it, you're right. So it looks like they're resolving that here. I mean, it's it's a little bit heavier of like the the infraction. You know, he did draw directly those two cards. Yeah. Um, I mean, if they can figure them out, it's fine. I I suppose. Ahmed is. Oh, it looks like they did. He, the, he just scoops. It's he, fine. He yeah, got, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's like, uh, I went anyway off the energy, and I got a Cynthia. He, he only had one left. Yeah. Um, he had a Cynthia. He would needed to hit the one energy, but it, it looks like they gave Jay the or gave Ahmed the minus two prizes thing, which with one prize left. It's it. It's it. It's GG. Yeah. Ahmed would have needed to hit the one energy. He didn't have a sycamore in his hand. He was in a rough spot. So he would um, he would have brought up something, and they're just kind of calculating in their head like. Uh, could I have gone to the point where I only have six cards off the deck? Yeah. And then Cynthia. Um, but Jay's going to kick himself for that. Yeah, he's that definitely going to kick himself. Yeah, you know, yeah that, was not, he, that was unnecessary. He, he was in a position where, you know, Ahmed, if he doesn't hit his last energy in his decent-sized deck off of a Cynthia, you no know, less, not even a Sycamore, so he's shuffling these cards in his hand back. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's partying, you know? So it looks like Jay's sitting here talking about counter energy and how he couldn't get to it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I mean, um, or at least two of the mallows in the same turn, but... It's it, it's it's weird playing you know these kind of one-off counter stuff like this you know. Yeah. It, Zork is very good. Zork's very consistent. You've got trades. You've got puzzles. You've got all this stuff, but that still doesn't matter if you don't hit it on that turn. You exactly. need it. Exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. You need these things at very very specific moments, or else they're just kind of floating around. And then the weakness to fighting is just feeding them prizes. Yeah. Like like you saw what happened. He just went Zor with Zor. 
Exactly, exactly. So, uh, Jay got a prize penalty for mallowing and then double with, trading. Without, without okay. trading, yeah. So before that, Ahmed also B-stringed, got two energy in, did some other stuff, didn't shuffle his deck, and then signal more. So we're trying to spread that away. Oh, wow. So okay. we have a clip of that. Obviously, the double trade thing. But we're yeah, yeah, yeah. All that oh, so he didn't, he, when he, he didn't shuffle at all. He just went straight yeah. to his sickle board. No right. one cut. Okay. Right. Didn't shuffle. B string. Had all the cards in hand. I think he did some other things. I didn't see the full thing. And then he sickle more punch. Wow. So Interesting. I don't know how it's being assessed, but. Well, Look, looks like they're giving him the win anyway. Yeah. But they might discuss it later on. Yeah. Interesting. All right. So. Okay, so. Breakdown. Yep. Um, we got uh, Jay getting a prize penalty um, for that uh, double trade turn mm -hmm. where, where he went, um, I'm going I'm to grab two off the of Mallow and then play my puzzles, get some decks, and then drew two off of the trade. He did, yeah. Um, can't be doing that. Can't, can't be doing uh, that. That's how you lose games, yes. obviously. Sure. And yeah. uh, Ahmed actually went B-string, didn't shuffle his deck, played Sycamore. Yes. And then Jay was like, yeah, you're cool. Mm -hmm. And I kind of let him do everything. So they're going to assess how they're going to penalize that later on. Um, and it, 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 I mean, it looks like, you know, they've circled the match slip. It looks like they gave, I mean, I guess a warning to Ahmed. You know, I don't really I don't really see them giving him anything less than that. Looks like warning on his side. Jay, I guess they gave him the prize penalty. Um, kind of just some, uh, you know, everything fell apart there at the end, you know. But yeah, yeah. It, it was like, close, like, you know. Game, then it was like, all right, well, we're just going to get messing up. Yeah, we're going to yeah. play sloppy and then play all of like, like, yeah. They were probably both just so focused on what they have to do inside of the game to yeah. pull off the win or to keep from losing that they forgot mechanically, like, these are the things we have to do internally. You know, I have to offer my opponent yeah, a yeah, cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think they're homies, too. Yeah. So that's probably why it's like a little bit more laid back. Like, oh, you're good, you're good, you're yep. good. Sing them more. It, it's fist probably bump. just like another yeah. testing session to them. You know, they're fist bumping, they're clowning, yeah, they're, they're like, making yeah, jokes. Yeah, this is cool. Yep, yep, yep. Just like being back home at the kitchen table, but. Um, um, cool. So we're going to go into uh, a quick commercial break, um, play some ads, uh, you know, pay the people. Give the people what they want. Um, and we're going to come back with a winner's interview with the Pro Play Games, Ahmed Ali. After that little sloppy mess up that they got oh, at the yeah. end there. People going crazy. And they can't <laughs> keep track of the stuff. All right. Um, so we'll see you all in a bit. Are we back? All right. <laughs> and <laughs> we are back. Here we are with our winner, Ahmed Ali. Hey, guys. So, Ahmed, how was that game? You know, how would you feel? Uh, that was a mess. Uh, Jay and I, we <laughs> talked about... How nervous we were on stream, we were like trying to not mess up, and I was like, oh man, my deck is totally not, uh, you know, correct. I probably had a deck list error, I should have checked it more. <laughs> and we were like both freaking out about the deck check, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then we both figured, fre we're freaking out, you know, constantly caught on our cards and stuff. So uh, yeah, and then and then we went up and both screwed up to, to d completely destroy that otherwise beautiful game. And you didn't want to do a clean. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that, like that last Fine. three minutes, just everything fell apart. It was just, we, threw it, we threw it all away. So, I mean, <laughs> by order of operations, I. His mess up happened after I had one prize left, mm -hmm. so I would have won that anyway. Yeah. But if he just didn't mess up, he probably would have won. In a different world, when you couldn't decline the prize, would you still take the prize? How do you feel about that? You if we both, I I was probably going to win that game, honestly, anyway. Oh, oh, oh that's yeah. what I was thinking, too. I'm yeah, like, I'm but, like Jay's, Jay's not going to win this game. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, it could have been the the below-average shuffle that put the, the Super Rod and the, and the Beast Ring in my hand in the first place. So, oh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, so yeah, so sorry about that. Those who were watching, uh, I, I apparently did mess up. Um, yeah. But yeah, we were both just super nervous. We but, can see that. We can see that when higher. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the fist bumps between <laughs> homies and stuff. Yeah, yeah that was um, cool. I guess the one last thing to talk about is uh, you were ducking Mew the whole game. All series. When you yeah. drew Mew, you were just like, and we out, right? Yeah. You just never felt like it's going to be used or like, even though he had so, Mew 2 in his deck, you were just like, what am I? So so Mew hits for max sixty against a non GX. Of course. So I'm not. I mean, unless I like double elixir to it and attach. Um, so Mew is a dead card most game against okay. Mew too. Um, it's also a free prize, like a single prize. So uh, I mean, the game plan is to put him on odd prizes anyway. Yeah. But then at the end of the game, you know, he can hit fifty on a on a baby a lot easier than he can hit, you know, ninety on a on a auxiliary or you know seventy on a rock. Rough. So it's just it's just that kind of game. Especially if it's an energy on it. Yep, that makes sense. So, so the the Zorak Lycanroc deck, you know, it seems to be kind of the favorite Zorak deck of the tournament. Right. Um, I, I feel like at this event we're we're kind of seeing Zorak make a comeback a little bit. You know, the end of last format it kind of died off. Um, how, how do you how do you feel about the, the matchup? Are are you nervous at all of her Zorak Lycanroc? You know, they've got Lycanroc too. It can do a lot of damage. They have got some cute psychic attackers. You know, what what are you thinking? Well, so my game plan is to just not bench GX Pokemon. Uh, so I think it's a pretty easy matchup, honestly, mm -hmm. but I have to have both, both Buzzwell. So I play two copies of Buzzwell in my deck. 
Uh, and both games two and three, I didn't have access to both of them yep. at the same time. So uh, making him take four prizes by not benching any GXs down isn't a game plan that I could you know go after. So makes sense. Um, so, you missed artillery game one. one. Game one, he never never needed it. Game one prized the second Remoraid. Of course. Yes. I prized two Remoraid, right? So yeah. you're lying to go down to the one of them. Bad decision, good decision. I play 1-1 one, one Octillery. I play 2-1 Octillery. Yes. So yeah. I play two Remoraid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, still feels fine. It still, still feels like, fine. I mean, you're going to... So, there'll be games where... I mean, there's a lot of Garbodor here, too. Of uh, there'll be games where you just it just gets knocked out and there's nothing you can do about it. I play Super Rod. I just don't expect it all the time. I mean, with... with Four evolution cards, it clunks up your deck a lot, especially in this deck where you need to run hot all the time. So okay. I replaced the second artillery with a second uh, N. So N is really good against decks like Malamar, who don't play any kind of on-board recovery. Uh -huh. All their all their energy, which they have energies for sure, but they need cards to like close out a Guzma or something like that. So Definitely. when you end them to one, and uh, they don't have anything on the field, you know N is more important than than your artillery because it's more about dis disrupting them than you know. Then, then you establishing yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 because now that there are these decks that can kind of keep up with Buzzwall a lot better, you know, the psychic deck, it can, it can really mess with Buzzwall if it gets online. So you need to be able to disrupt them back. You know, it's not like last format where you can kind of just go, 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 and just trade well with everything. Right. You actually have to do, you know, play a little bit of the game that every other deck plays where you have to end and just like don't yeah. hit the Guzman this turn. You can't let them sit on a seven, eight, nine card hand and just out trade them. Right. Yeah. Plus, the beast ring, beast ring end turns are like. <laughs> Like the game, the game <laughs> again, yeah. I only it's play like, two beast rings, so that rarely happens. But yeah, yeah. no, you're like you decked in four energy, yeah. and then you're, just, <laughs> you're gonna lose. <laughs> Especially with the artillery out too, it's it's just beautiful. Oh yeah. 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 Did, so, did, did you do you feel like the the two beast ring is you know you do you just rely on I'm gonna get one Sufficient. off and be fine. Yeah. No, I'll get one. You really, uh, just want one. Yeah. Max elixirs are way more important than beast ring yep. throughout the entire game. That makes sense. Absolutely. I was playtesting a lot, and I kept getting... My opponent was down to five prizes before I was able to get a side set up. Yeah. Or, sorry, down to three prizes. Uh, you know, especially in the mirror, because you, you can you can manipulate that math if you if you play correctly. Mm -hmm. um, so, the, Max Elixir is just way more consistent. It should be the focus of Buzzwell. Uh, Beast Ring is a, is a good addition, but it should just be that, just a splash. Okay, makes sense. Um, so, the matchup, cake, in your eyes. Free? Or, like, what do you think? What, for this matchup? Counter energy makes it weird. Yeah. Any other any other Zor Rock? I think it's pretty easy in general because of how many non GXs I play. Of course. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have the access to them. But yeah, but yeah, because yeah. because you can you know avoid their weakness hitting and you can just swing with a, a 130 HP dude that hits for weakness, I mean yeah. it, it's it's pretty easy. Oh, yeah, matchup. we can do about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Alright, cool. cool. Um I think that's all we got. That's all we yeah. got. Congratulations, yeah. thank man. you. Uh, good job. Good luck Appreciate for the rest it. of the day. Um, like uh, to shout please, out PPG? Please, please, don't, uh, <laughs> please don't stick them more and all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. sorry. Uh, yeah, for, so well, feel free to give your shout outs before we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for for George Machado, you know, uh, sponsoring me for PPG. Also, Ultra Pro. Um, you know, I'm very happy to be sponsored by them, be uh, represent their brand. Um, yeah, thanks for these guys. They, they put on a great stream. Uh, right, that's our game is killing it right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are. They're, they're doing like, a great like, job. We're kind of just sitting back and just like, hey, wait, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to watch you guys make fun of me later. So. <laughs> 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 I was, was kind of like, a, what are you guys even doing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's happening here? What are you here? doing? You can't just put those in your hand, man. Come yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he trade? He or did he just go? He traded Mallow. He went Mallow. Oh yeah, I think he just picked it up. Yeah, and he then Mallow he traded Mallow in his hand. He, he, no, nothing left his hand. Correct. So, yeah. All right. So that was anyway. right. well, good you. luck right, the rest right, of the day. Luck, man. Take care, we'll man. We'll see you day two. We'll see you day two. All right. And for now, we are going to take a ten-minute break, and we'll see you all back here at the Madison Regional Championship soon. <laughs>